Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to create some of these accounts uh, that are pretty popular online. Um, so if you go, if you've never heard of Gmail, and of course, let's let's take it from the top. So Google, most popular search engines um, out there. Uh, I'm gonna bring up some other search engines that are some kind of my favorite. Um, Yahoo, go yahoo.com. Okay. MSN. MSN.com. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They changed it to Bing. So it's Bing.com. Now these are some of the top search engines that are out there, so. But there are a lot more, and if you'd be curious, you can just type in online search engine to get a list. Let's just take a look here. Okay, well, we already talked about Bing, okay. DuckDuckGo, I've never heard about that. But let's check it out. Open a new tab. Okay, I guess the perk about this one is not tracking you, I guess. We don't store your personal information ever. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder what the, uh, let's do a search here. Uh, let's just try online. Let's just try games. Just curious what the interface looks like. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Some of the three perks. We don't store your personal information. Don't follow you. Don't track you. Okay. And you can add that to your search engine. That's pretty neat. So, looks like a pretty clean interface. Doesn't have the ads that you normally see. Okay. It looks like there's just about one ad on here. Okay. So, what we can do is go back to our list here. Wiki.com. Open that up. Hmm. Let's try online games. Do a search. Oh, okay. So everything here has links to different Wikipedia. Okay, let's just try Nintendo. I'm just curious to see what comes up. Uh, Nintendo Switch. And that's their popular uh, console. Okay. Scrolling down here. Okay. Pretty neat. Got a couple ads at the top. You can tell the ad because it's got the ad right there. Let's go back to our list here. Yeah. Well, speaking of, let's just check the, uh, so Yahoo's format in here. We've got the mail up here at the top, the different links here. I'm pretty sure that you can personalize it also. Uh, I live in Indianapolis, so I've got the weather down here. Check out the scores of the various games, trending, see what's going on. Okay. And it seems got a lot here now. A lot of content, a lot of ads. It's okay. You know, you just keep you busy. Okay. 
Let's check out Bing's interface. I always got a nice little background. Oh yeah, and today's National Donut Day. I forgot all about that. Let's just click on it. I'm just curious. <laughs> Speaking of that, I just ate a donut. I forgot today was National Donut Day. It was pretty neat. Okay. You got a Wikipedia if you wanted to know more information about that. Okay, so we'll go back to our list here. Twitter, yeah, people don't think about this, but you can learn a lot of information from doing a search on Twitter. Um, we'll come back to creating an account, possibly, but let's go to, let's put in Twitter search engine. Okay, Twitter search. Uh, let's just put in National Donut Day. See what people are talking about. Okay. Get free donuts at Dunkin' Donuts today. All right. Donut. Ah, uh, that's pretty creative. Anyway. <clears throat> find out what the latest topics are oh this is all dealing with donuts okay so by doing this it tells you what the latest posts are for donuts okay now we'll just put in NBA I'm just curious to see what the latest post about the NBA okay So yeah, you can pretty much find out what people are talking about by coming uh, to this Twitter search, and typing that in, whatever topic you want, you know, weather, you know, it's got everything on there, okay? Let's go back to our list. CC search, okay. Okay, you got the copyright free content. Let's check that out. Creative Commons. Okay, come on now. Refresh. It's taking a while for that load. We'll come back to it. All right. There's another one. Another private search. Let's go with space. I'm just picking whatever. Okay, so this is what their interface looks like. Okay. Internet Archive, that's pretty cool. So if you wanted to see what the, some of the sites used to look like at one point. So let's, let's check out what Google used to look like. Let's put in the URL. And you can just pick a day. Day. You can also pick a time if you want to. Okay, so let's just go back a couple years. Let's go back to 2008 and see what Google looked like. Nice little picture there. Okay, notice that the interface is primarily the same, but Let's check another time period here. Yeah, let's go with the first launch. No, that's not. That's in the beginning. I didn't. Oh, 
Look at that, Google Beta. Man, that's crazy. Let's take it back even further. See, I'm gonna switch it up. Okay. Let's try with Yahoo. See what that used to look like. Or actually, let's go to Yahoo. Yahoo.com, excuse me. So this is what it looks like today. Let's go back. 2016. See what it used to look like. We used to have the trending topics over here, different categories over here. Let's go back to 2013. So it looks like, I mean, everything pretty much kind of the same in a way. Take it back to 2008. Okay. Wow. I'm just curious here. Probably 2000. Okay, that's about 2011 when they started putting the ads. Let's see, let's check out the early years. Oh wow, yeah, it's crazy how time, you know, time flies and how the uh, pages have changed over time. Let's check out their very, very early stages. So that was 96 that we just saw. Okay, this is the early 96, man, I remember this too. <laughs> okay, let's go back. See what we got. Another search engine here, search encrypt. Close out this. Uh, NBA. Wait. No. Probably won't let me go because I'm at work, so that's not gonna fly. Okay. Just check this out, see what this interface looks like. Okay. Not too bad. Start page. A lot of these I've never heard of, so I mean, it's pretty neat. Finding out some new things. Check this out here. Let's type in Twitter. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like. Uh, let's try again. Okay, that's pretty neat. So I guess it kind of gives you a little bit, a little bit about what you might type in, or probably from some of their uh, queries that pe other people have used. So let's just NBA basketball meetings and put it up here. Also, after you select. Show you a trick on Google here. If you wanted to learn some more stuff, let's just say if you're looking for um, you know, let's just go with uh, how to make okay uh, YouTube videos. Right. And these are some of the uh, Things that people would type in, suggestions underneath. Um, if you haven't noticed that before, and then as you, you know, get suggestions, it add, it keeps on giving you suggestions until you find something that you like. So this this is good, and it comes in handy if you're if you're drawing a blank. Okay. Border reader. What's this? NBA. Okay. About forms. Wow. They are still alive and well. It's kind of crazy. I mean, with most of the uh, social platforms and stuff, that people still got good old forms. Man, I've been in form in, like forever. Okay. Slide share. What's this? Define documented slideshow presentations. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's just pick one. job search gives you a little bit about the information here okay and watch preview probably need to update the files on my computer so I probably won't be able to watch this but this gives you a good idea of what you can see. Let's go back to Google. Uh, let's go back to MBA Finals. So at the top, you have all these different categories that you can search. Got your news. I know what's going on. Got videos on the NBA Finals. That's just two hours ago. Okay. Got your images. Shopping. Then you can filter it over here to fine tune the search. Okay, we got videos. Oh, we already talked about that. Now these are more information here. Check out the tools. No, that doesn't look like it. okay. Any duration. Okay, I assessed if you want to fine tune the videos here. Uh, check out Yahoo to see what they have. Adif additional features that you can find. So you got your mail here. You got your notifications here. Let's check out one notification. Okay. All right. 
So yeah, you got your notifications there. Um, you scroll post we talked about there earlier. Okay. Yeah. So if you never created a Yahoo account, you can go down here to create a cow. And you fill out all, all the information and you sign in that way. Um, Twitter. I know I'm kind of backtracking here. Typed it up here at the top. I should have. Okay. So create account here. You go sign up. So create your information. It's four steps to create it. Okay. Let's see what else here. Okay. Now, well, so this gives you a good list here. All right. Um, let's talk about blogs. Okay. To me personally, I think blogs and websites are really not too much of a difference. So the main thing is that with uh, blogs, you know, uh, give me one second here. Okay, so with blogs, your um, the, the content is updated, you know, more frequently. Okay, and with websites, the information is more static. So let's let's talk about some blogging platforms. Let's check this out. WordPress. Constant contact. Yo, all these ads, come on. Wix, Gator, WordPress.com. Two different WordPress. You know, Blogger, Tumblr. Medium, Squarespace, Ghost. Me personally, I've only dealt with WordPress and Blogger. So let's just go to WordPress. If I can get this thing to stay here. Okay. So, <clears throat> WordPress.com, easy to use, no setup required. You get a basic one for free. Uh, oh, got it. I see what happened. This is more like. Okay, let's go back here to WordPress.org. No, let's take it back. Look like that's somebody's website. WordPress.com. Everything's going back here. It's been a while since I did a WordPress. Okay. Give me one second here. Okay. Now let's go to blogger.com. Um, nice easy way to uh, create a blog go create your blog you have to have a gmail account So I'm just gonna pick one. Okay. Create your blog. Yes, 
Just that one here can go. Okay, let's go. There's another one of my emails here. So after you sign in your account, Scratch that. For some odd reason, it's not letting me sign into my account. Okay. So, once you're in there, you pick your display name. Or we'll just call this uh, display name as Mr. Blogger. Using the site as your name, okay. So let's go over here. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a post. Well, actually, let's just go over some of these things here. Post. This is where you're going to create um, the post for your blog, the content for your blog, stats. You know, you get your page views, tells you how many posts, and tell you stats for your different posts, it tells you where's your traffic coming from, okay, and what they're typing in. Define your site. Looks like this would be like kind of like demographics. You got the countries, browser, and operating systems, the comments that they've made. Pages is kind of like. Uh, more static, you know, it, it doesn't change really. Um, uh, some of the common uh, pages that you normally see are like About Me, uh, Contact Us, you know, those types of pages. While the other pages are, you know, the, or other pages known as posts um, will have, um, will be updated on a regular basis and show up inside of your blog, you know. Cool thing about here, you can easily change the way that you know you want the page to be seen. You can edit that by clicking on the pencil. Gadgets are kind of like additional. Let's see what they got for gadgets. Okay. Pages, labels, links, popular posts, and all that. But the cool thing about, you know, with all this blogging and stuff like that, you really don't have to know how. You, you don't have to really know about HTML code and all that, you know. And then if you don't know HTML code, that's more of like, okay, to make this page right here what you're seeing. Let's, this is what it takes to make what you're seeing. All of this. Now... You don't understand all that. You would. That pretty much is what you see it right here. Okay. Now with blogs, it's a cool thing. You just you really don't have to know anything about coding. You know, you just uh, create your content and then you, you post it. And we'll go over that in just a second. Themes. You can you got different themes. Okay. So you could get a preview of some of the themes. I'm just going to back out. This is what it shows up as. So yeah, and your settings, basic settings.
post content, uh, post comment, excuse me, and sharing. You can change it. Who can comment? Who can? Uh, there's moderation. Uh, you know. Okay, we got all these other settings here. But let's just go with our first post here. Okay. New post up to the top, and you click on that. All right, what is this? I want to delete this in a second here, but comments. Just checking out this website. Music, music, education material. I'm just picking something real quick. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So, let's just say if I use this. Okay. And I put this as my post. First, you gotta come up here, change post title. Yeah, I'll just say biology. More information. Okay. Uh, I'll go with some of the things that you can do here. But first thing I wanna do, say this is what you want. This is your content. You can preview it by clicking the preview button. So this is what it looks like, okay? This is where people enter their comments below. You can schedule it, set a time and a date. That's pretty cool. All right. And let's save it on this one, okay? Oh, excuse me, publish. So this is the default. You always want to delete that. So if I click here, it should take me to my site. Does it take me to my site? We'll find out. Oh, a few blocks, excuse me. our first post more information and you click on there there's our content so let's go back to that post okay click on this and edit all right so we just say if I wanted to if you're not familiar with hyperlinking and all that so if I wanted to if anybody wants to click on this one Word, I want to link it to somewhere. Let's say if we want to link it to Google, google.com. Okay, we have an option here to open up a new window or not. Okay, so let's just do google.com just to, and then we're going to update this post. So we click on here. We're going to view the post. So now, as you see right here, whenever somebody clicks here, it's going to take them to Google. Okay. Let me get out of here. And you can set that to whatever site that you like. 
let's just go back in here let's remove that I'm gonna do that one more time and I'm gonna show you a difference so let me click on link say if we want it to go to google.com again you can click on this button and that'll open it up in a new window do okay update the post let's view the post so now you have the link here still right but watch what happens now it creates a new window okay let's go back to that post actually uh, let's say if we want to put a picture in there I'm searching Let's just put this. Let's say if we want this picture. Copy image address. And we wanted to put that in our post. Now I'm not recommending that you take this from another site. I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes. Edit. Come over here. Go to the insert image. Oh, from the URL. That's what we did earlier. Paste that. Add it. And now it's down below. We can make it large. Small. Different choices down here. Okay. Alright. You can also click it. Add a caption here. All in a tree. Okay. <clears throat> and then, again, you're going to update. Come back here to view that post that we just did. There you go. So now you have that. Okay. Let's go back to look at the themes again. Remember we were talking about that? Now you have some content. Let's see if we wanted to change the thing. And we want it to look like this. And then apply. Let's go back to this link and let's refresh it. Let's see what it looks like now. As you can see, the theme has changed. And again, this is where, you know, no, this is pretty cool. This theme has your social, your social networks which other people can add into here or whatnot. Add a comment. If you want to comment at yourself. Okay. Go back in here. Go back to post. Let's see what else can we do here. You can add movies. So you can add some smiley faces here. Oh, special characters. Okay. If you wanted to highlight something, you can mold it. There's your different options that you can do. Italicize, underline, line through it. Right. Change the color of your text. I would never do that. <laughs> Not that bright. Right. And if you want to highlight, you can. Now, there's a lot of things you can do here. You just have to play around with it. I remember when I first started okay, out. Okay, let's go back know, to YouTube. Just wanted uh, to. Uh, I'm done with blogging for now. The materials and everything. I pretty much just played around with it every single day until I kind of got here. the hang of it. And I'm gonna show you something go else you YouTube. can do here. Yeah. Second here. 
So there's there's different ways to search on YouTube. If you type in YouTube, you can find information down here. Videos on YouTube. Let's just look that up. Let's go. Let's go with uh, HDTV. Let me do search. Okay. The videos all down here, and then uh, the way we can do it is go to YouTube itself. Okay, come on, computer, <laughs> bear with me here. My computer's crashing on me. Click on it again, sorry. So over here you got your home trending. Uh, that's the trending videos that are showing right now. If my YouTube cooperate. Okay, there we go. All right. So these are the trending videos, and you have your different categories up here: music, gaming, news, movies. Okay. Then after that, you can subscribe to videos. And let's just take you through that real quick. I'm just gonna click on a video. And then if you go on here, if you want to subscribe to somebody's video, you can click on the red button. And that'll subscribe you to the channel. In this case, it's America's Got Talent. Okay. Now, just to go over some of the... Uh, so right now, you can see all the ads running because you got the ads right here. And if you like the ad, if you want to, you can give it feedback up or down. You want to skip the ad you can go ahead and click skip the ad um, tell you the views right here how many how many people liked it how many people didn't like it if you share it you can click on this button to give you the, the code to copy um, to share it and let's just say if you wanted to share with let's say if you're 30 seconds into the video you can click that button right there and you can change how many seconds right now it's set at nine so it starts at the nine second mark on the video and then if you want to share it against your social media platforms you can click on any of those okay and then you copy to your clipboard or let me go back in here. If you want to put this video in a site, say like your blogger site or whatever blog you may have, you would press the embed. For some odd reason, it's not working for me. Uh, some other options you have your, you know, just to play your play your video. Just to fast forward. I mean, you skip to the next video. You got the sound right here. You got your time right here. Uh, Subtitles, you can click that on and off. Settings, that's important. If you want, if say like we're playing the video and, and you don't like the quality, um, you can raise it up to a higher quality. Now, when you do that, it may uh, take a second for that video to load because it's um, using up more bandwidth. So it's going to take up just a couple more seconds for it to load if you're on a uh, High speed connection. Uh, you can also change uh, your playback speed. Here's another subtitles. Okay. So, playback speed, you know, you can change the speed to make it go slower, make it go faster. Okay. And then, <clears throat> the 
let's look at the other options that we have. You can, okay, you can create a playlist. Once you go in here, you go here and you, you'll save it to a playlist. So once you sign in, you can create a playlist and then save it to that. Underneath, you have your comments. You can sort by top comments, new, newest first. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all about that. Um, library. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure that's your uh, files that are that are saved and to your your channel. History, what you viewed. It's got some more. Categories down here, if you want to look at those. Let's look at browse channels, okay? Tell you, oh, okay. You got the creators in the rise, the best of YouTube. Music, comedy, film, entertainment. I got, oh man, it's got so many. And pretty much, if you want to learn something, I mean, you could you can learn just about anything on YouTube. This is where you go to upload your videos. I'm not gonna go too too much into that right now. <clears throat> Let me see what we else we got here. Okay. I'm gonna change your settings here, your, the language. Let's look at, oh, it's got keyboard shortcuts. I did not know about that, so I just found something new here. So if you wanted to get some handy shortcuts, you click on that button. This is where you upload your videos again. You got the different uh, creators, like where you can edit your videos. Got YouTube music. Let's go there real quick. If my computer will cooperate. Or not. And then also you gotta be signed in, in order to like and comment and subscribe to videos. Um I also meant to tell you, I just listened to some of the videos uh, that, I, that I just did for today. Um, and I heard the microphone that kept moving, so I, I apologize for all that. Uh, give me one second here. So the next thing what I'm going to do is oh, second almost done. Okay, I'm gonna share some of my favorite sites that I have. Um, some of the tools that are that I normally use. So LastPass, if you never heard about that, it's pretty cool browser give me a password manager and what it'll do it'll take all your credentials instead of you having to maintain and memorize it um, it'll save it and you can easily um, uh, log in with it and there's a they have different pricing models but I use the free model there's nothing wrong with that you get one each one user um, and they got different ones for premium and families and they also have a business if you uh, want to use that also and let's go and click on how it works okay so the first thing you do you can get your uh, browser extension you create your password for LastPass make sure you remember that you don't want to lose that and then this for example okay so in this example you have all these different 
sites that he's a part of or have logins for, right? Okay, it's got good encryption, things like that. And the good thing about it is, say like everything is in the cloud, so you can say like I have LastPass on my computer. I can also put LastPass on my phone, and when I visit these sites, say for example, Amazon, if I visit my site on my phone, you know I can easily just click on that to uh, store the password and just use LastPass to, uh, you know, visit any of those sites. Um, let's see what else. Some of my other favorite sites that I normally go to. Okay. Oh, so keywords everywhere. That's another one. Yes, sir. This one to tell you all your different keywords and stuff. Um, so like when you go to Google or whatnot, uh, let's do a test here. It won't work on this browser because it's Chrome, so you may excuse me, but I'll, I'll kind of go over. Okay, so yeah, so you know how you got all these right here, all these suggestions. What keywords everywhere do will make a whole list, and they will come over here onto this side. All right, and it'll, it'll list all the different things to help you uh, look for, and like criteria, I mean, of uh, suggestions or whatnot. You can also I forgot about that. So at the bottom of uh, Google you have other related keywords that you may want to go to let's just pick eBay classifieds and then there come you say categories and you know we just got all these different ones how to get eBay classifieds uh, all these other things and also I don't know if you guys knew this about this or not but you can go to Google, right? And just click on the picture, right? Click on the picture. And every day it changes. So if you wanted to see something different on the internet, you, know, you can find out what's going on. Right? This lets you know that the World Cup is going on. Right? That's a big deal. I wonder if Yahoo does that. Let's check that. I mean, I don't really don't use I mean, I use Yahoo sometimes, but not as much as Google, okay. And they don't, but they got plenty of stuff on there. So anyway, um, what else do I like to use? Oh yeah, let's talk about some video recorders. So if you want to record your videos, um, um, there's some software that you can use. Uh, Zoom.us is a good one to use. And you can sign up for free. You're limited on the minutes, the minutes on your uh, on your uh, video, but you you can easily record the video uh, using this software. Um, other users that record Camtasia if you have the Mac. Actually, I take it back. They have other one. They had Camtasia on PC and a Mac. And let's go to this site, TechSmith. That's the company's name. They got a free trial if you wanted to give that a look. Uh, they have a pricing. Let's check out the prices. Individual. Let's go with individual. Okay. So single single license. Okay, that's two forty nine. Uh, let's see what there was one that I just learned about recently called Use Loom. Loom is a, is a site 
free screen re and video record software. So you can go on there. And let's just click on here real quick. Mm. Okay, you can sign up with your Google or your Slack. And then once you do that, or you can do your email. That's pretty cool. So you sign up for one of those, and then you can use that to record your videos also. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Okay, but I am curious about Slack. What is Slack? Because I've always seen it, but never went to it. Slack. Okay, so it looks like it's a, a messenger kind of. Collaboration tool. Okay. Let's check it out. Looks like a messenger. Hmm. Let's watch the demo. See the demo. Okay. Okay, let's go down arrow down. Okay, so I guess your topics are organized in the channels, got it. Another way you can look at it, think of sort of like chat rooms in a way, where all your content's at. Share the files, where you want to share it to, or actually, yeah, okay. Oh, that's neat, create tasks. archive the information. So I kind of wish like Gmail was kind of had an easier way to go through some of the older messengers. I'm just clicking through here. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go out of here. So yeah, Loom, that's a that's a pretty neat one. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any more. Oh yeah. Um screencast o -matic. Okay. So screencast o -matic, that's another one. Start recording for free. Let me just play around with this real quick. Oh, it's got an app, iPhone screen recorder app. That's pretty neat. And anyway, you're gonna press the record button, and it's gonna give you an option to record your screen, your webcam, or both. You have your picture, and you got your background on your desktop. It also allows for upgrades. I wonder what the features of this. Let's find out. You get a video editing suite. You can add audio, drawing tools, import video, make longer videos, and the watermark. Okay, yeah, so with the free, that's what you're gonna get. You can record the screen, webcam, window full screen you can trim it captions save it to desktop okay the cool thing you can publish that to YouTube and share on um, <clears throat> your social media okay. 
Again, remember, you got the watermark. And uh, you got the watermark, and you're limited on the length of your videos. But the ones that cost more, $4 a month, that's not bad, you know. And you get all these extra features. Share it more, more places. Water one is removed, of course. Okay, get more. Okay, get more editing tools than the free one. And then, okay, so with the free one, you're only you're limited to two gigs, and with the one you got extra money that you had to pay extra money for it, you got a hundred gig. You got a secure backup, and then okay. And it's got your frequently asked questions down here at the bottom. And what else? Okay. Anyway, I know this is kind of like a, a longer video. Um, hopefully, you know, you picked up something that will help you out in your online journey, the wormhole of online. <laughs> you can find something that'll help you out. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Have a good day.